Good morning, America. Good morning, friends. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday in the world of America. It is a big, big place, and there is so much going on in our universe. So much going on in our country. So much going on in our lives. For one thing, I gained a million pounds <laughs> over the past three days, and I didn't even care. It was great. I had s such a great holiday, and I hope you did too. I hope all of you got together with loved ones and uh, just enjoyed them. And uh, and now it's time to to pray because there's much going on in our lives, much going on in our world, much going on with our friends, and the faithful prayers of a righteous person accomplishes much. And that's us, not based on our own merit, but based on the righteousness of another, Jesus Christ. Good morning, Beth. Good to see you this morning. Have you got your books? <laughs> Ready for the carpool? <laughs> you know, this morning, uh, in my in my Bible app, I've been uh, a few days behind, and I've been reading Psalm 119, and uh, it's it may be my favorite psalm. It's just so fantastic, and it talks about loving the law of the Lord, and of course, we know that the, that law says, "Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength." That's, that's a mouthful right there. It's not just giving him a wink now and then. It's pure dedication to loving him with all you've got. And then to love your neighbor as yourself. Wow. Huge, huge words. But if you do that, the Bible says you, you, you will encompass all of the law you will automatically obey because because you're not going to defraud one another. You're not going to uh, covet one another's goods. You're not going to uh, be immoral with one another because you know you're sinning against them. It's amazing. And as Americans, if we could just do that, it would be a beautiful, amazing world. You would never try to defraud anyone else. You would never cheat on an election. You would never um, covet something that someone else has that you want. So let's pray that God will write his law into the hearts of all America. And it's funny, as I was going through this, I, I just, just before we started, I, I was wondering, how many verses are in that psalm? Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Mamay. Um, I was wondering how many verses are in that psalm, and I looked at the bottom, and there's 176 verses. And then I just glanced up at the one in front of it in my Bible app is I have highlighted in yellow right there. And it says, let me live so I can praise you and may your regulations help me. Let me live so I can praise you. You know, when I was five years old and I fell off a high diving board and missed the water, not, not a very good aim. <laughs> Um, I nearly died, but as I was laying there on the sidewalk uh, in convulsions, a, a minister got out of his uh, lounge chair, stepped out of his comfort zone, walked over, and prayed for me. And he prayed, may he live to love you and serve you. And I'm thinking, wow. So that's the that's the... That's the verse probably that he was referring to or, or um, quoting from, probably in a different version that says that. Let me live so I can praise you. And uh, I lived. And what a joy to now be able to fulfill that prayer with my life. So let's do that. Let's, let's, let's go before the Lord based on Second Chronicles 7.14, which says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, 
turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Ah, that's what we pray this morning, Lord. Lord, we come before you, humble of heart, seeking forgiveness. And we know, Father, that there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. And thank you, Lord, that you are instantaneous to forgive because of the shed blood of Calvary, because you provided the way for us to come. And now you say, come boldly before the throne to receive grace and mercy in time of need. And Lord, not only we, but our country is in a time of great, great need. So we come. We come praying, but we come praying in faith, believing that you hear our prayers and believing that you will answer our prayers because you said, if you believe, you can speak to the mountain and call, tell it to be removed and cast into the sea. And if you don't doubt, it will happen. That's just amazing to me. So Lord, we do. We, we cry out to you this morning. We come before you. Lord, seeking your face. Lord, turning from our wicked ways and uh, as ambassadors of the rest of the country, turning as a country before you, repenting of our sin, repenting of the slaughter of innocent babies, of abortion. Lord God, repenting of defrauding one another, de- repenting, Father, of all of the violence in our nation people hurting each other and not loving each other. God, please forgive us as a nation for great disobedience to you. Forgive us when we disobey you, Lord, when we choose to covet or get drunk or you name it. Lord, so many things that you tell us are not good for us and so tell us not to do that we do. Father, please forgive us and thank you, God. Thank you for your forgiveness and instantaneous restoration. Oh, Lord, thank you. Father, we pray that you would save our nation and spare our freedom and democracy, Lord God. Lord, please expose all sin, all unrighteousness as it relates to our election. Father, would you bring out uh, the, the, the crimes committed by either side, by Democrats or Republicans, Father, so that righteousness can reign in our land. Thank you, Father. We, we pray for our president. Lord, would you protect him? Would you protect his wife, Melania? Would you protect their hearts, God? Would you protect their disposition? Would you protect their countenance, Lord? Lord, as we enter this Advent season, Lord, would you bring joy, even as the White House is uh, in a in a information war, so to speak. Father, would you uh, give victory to those that are right in this battle? Lord, expose everyone who has cheated on ballots, Lord, or stuffed ballots or done anything illegal in any way, Father. Lord, if this Dominion software is rotten to the core, Lord, would you cause it to be so thoroughly exposed that everyone knows it? Lord, if President Donald Trump is the true victor in the election, and I personally believe he is, would you cause all fraud to be exposed so that on January 20th, I can proudly stand in that audience and watch him be re-inaugurated. Lord, your will be done. Your will be done. And I pray for the hearts of all who will be uh, victorious or disappointed at the, at the uh, outcome that they would accept and not be, um, not act out in, in violence, Lord. Lord, let your spirit of revival 
sweep across our land, so much so that it en encompasses millions and millions of people, Father. Oh, Lord, may people turn to you left and right and find uh, the grace and mercy that we find every morning when we come to you. May they find grace and mercy in their time of need, Lord. Lord, we know that sin doesn't pay. We know that sin doesn't lead to life, but it leads to death. And we pray, Father, for our nation that many would come to you and be saved. Thank you, Lord. We pray, Father, for the cabinet, president's cabinet, for uh, Rudy Giuliani, Lord God, for uh, Sidney Powell, for Michael Flynn, General Flynn, for all who are working uh, with the president to do the right thing and to expose darkness. Thank you, Lord. And we rebuke evil in the name of Jesus. We take a stand. Lord, your word says, re re uh, resist the devil and he will flee from you. And so we resist in the name of Jesus doing spiritual warfare. We resist the darkness and, and command it to flee in the name of Jesus over America. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, I lift up our beautiful city of Orlando, the city beautiful. And I pray, Lord, that righteousness would reign here. Lord, I pray for revival in our town. Dear God, let your spirit reign here. Jesus is Lord over Orlando. I decree it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Lord, we pray for the sick, Father, that they would all be healed. We command cancer to go from the bodies of our friends uh, who uh, we name now. My sister Janice, my friends Karen, my friend uh, Diane, my friend Andy, my friend Joel. And Lord, we thank you for all who trust you. Thank you for all who trust you, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would quickly heal anybody infic infected with that vile COVID-19, and we rebuke COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. Defeat the plans of the enemy wherever they are, Lord. And we thank you, Father, that you've got this. You've got us in the palm of your hand. Hallelujah. Thank you. Isn't God good? Lord, we praise you. We just celebrated Thanksgiving, Father, and we want to take a moment and thank you. Thank you for how many years has it been since Christopher Columbus landed on our shores? 400 years since the Mayflower Compact. This very month, November 11th, it was signed. I keep getting the dates wrong, but I, I just read it. It's definitely November 11th, according to what I read. 400 years ago, and we have moved consistently toward freedom. Father, we've committed many crimes, crimes against races, crimes against peoples. And Lord, much repentance has gone forward, and we repent for that as well on behalf of America. And Father, where, where love can be shown, let love be shown, and take whatever form you choose for it to take. Thank you, Lord. Comfort our sick, yes, yes, and those in our hearts who have asked for prayers. Amen. Please heal our friends. Yes, God. Good to see you, Janie. Good to see you, Mark. Good to see you, my friends. Hi, Wanda. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's going to be an amazing week. I, I believe that God has got everything under control. I, uh, I look forward to serving him and loving others. 
with all my heart today. And I look forward to seeing you at 5 o'clock on The John Morgan Show. Courage, comfort, communication, everything that is good. I don't know. I just kind of vamped there. I forgot. Humor, passion, and perspective. <laughs> had a had a uh, brain a little short brain vacation there for a second. But that's okay. It is okay for us to be human after all. It is okay that each one of us is not uh, perfect because there are no perfect people. There are forgiven people, and there are godly people, and there are people that need Jesus, and I'm one of those. Hallelujah. Well, folks, have a great morning. I will do the same. Can't wait to see what God has planned for today. It's going to be awesome. Keep praying for uh, the election process and um, democracy being... Democracy is at work, folks. That's what's happening. Free people have uncovered... uh, dastardly deeds and they are exposing them and that's part of how our democracy works Um, things are built into our constitution for times such as this even though the framers knew nothing of uh, electronic media social media um, God did and it's amazing how he's got this and we can trust him he's got it you can be sure Well, God bless you folks. Have a wonderful morning. I'll see you later today at 5 o'clock. Wanda, I appreciate you. You are weak, but he is strong. Amen. I couldn't couldn't agree more. Read your Bibles, folks, and uh, say hi to Jesus for me.